Ben, we're here. The news has just come out about your move to Worcester. First things first, what are the primary reasons behind your decision to make that career move? Um, well, I think the primary reason is uh, to sort of play a lot more cricket for a start. Um, it's been a hard couple years, like sort of being in and out of the side. Um, so I think going forward for me and for my career to sort of progress, I think you need to play a bit more frequently um, and be in the squad every week. Um, it's a shame because obviously I love it, love being here, but at the same time you sort of got to look after yourself sometimes as well, I guess. Yeah, and it makes sense from a sporting point of view, but obviously you're still an Essex boy at heart, you're a Colchester boy, it can't have been an easy decision to make. No, no, absolutely. Um, being at the club as well from eight years old um, and then now having to, to go and play in Worcester, like, I absolutely love being here. Um, and it's, it's going to be tough for sure, but as I said before, I think going forward for my career, it's the, it's the right decision for sure. Yeah. And obviously sat here on the outfield at the Cloud County ground where you've played quite a lot of cricket in, across all formats. Any specific memories that stick out in playing here or indeed playing somewhere else while wearing that Essex badge? Yeah, I mean, one that will stand out for me is probably the last game of the 2022 season uh, at North Ants, getting uh, first, first class Fifer. Um, that would definitely be my favourite moment in Essex shirt, but I think that you can't probably put a favourite moment on it. I mean, it's all been so enjoyable these last couple of years. Um, on Friday nights, like it's, it's, you can't replicate it anywhere. Um, so yeah, for sure, I'll, I'll, I'll really miss it here. Yeah, and how about further back? Obviously, joining the academy as uh, as a child, a really young child, coming in under the tutelage of Barry Hyam. How have you found kind of developing into the first team? And is there anyone in particular in that academy you'd want to say played a big role in that? No, for sure. I think like. Like you said, then Barry Hyam, I think he's been there for, with when it comes to me in Essex since since the beginning. I remember coming to the, the ground on Tuesday nights as a as a youngster. I think the slot was sort of a four to six in the evening for the uh, under nines, under tens, and he was always there. So Barry Hyam's played a massive part in my role, like coming through the academy and and now being part of the squad. Um, Tom Huggins as well, like he, well I think it could have been. Like my first year of academy, I perhaps met Huggy. Um, but no, like Mags, obviously, as well. Like, we all love him to pieces, Mags. So, Mags, Barry, Tom Huggins, and of course, Mickey Lewis, like, they've all played a massive role in me getting to where I am. Um, and actually, not to forget Harry McQueen, uh, SNC coach here. He, he, he started probably when I was on the EPP as well. So, that would have been, what, 10 years ago now. So, it's been a long time, but no, I've got all those guys to thank, so no, for sure, I'll, I'll, I'll let them know how grateful I am one day. Yeah. It's a bit of an open final question then, I suppose, but is there anything more that you'd want to say to the members, the supporters that can fill these stands to, that have watched you over the past few years? Anything you'd want to say to them before you uh, take the next step? No, I mean, uh, I think it goes without saying, and all the guys up in the change room think the exact same thing. You know, we get such good crowds here at Chelmsford, no matter what, what game it is, whether it be first class 50 over or T20. Um, it's always vibrant. The members are always very loyal to us. Um, yeah, people such as, well, we call him Kitman Dan, but he sits up around about where the scorers sit every like, week in, week out, watching the boys. But, you know, a very loyal crowd. They're great to, when they're behind you, absolutely great to play in front of. And, you know, unfortunately, the last couple of years, we haven't brought a trophy back for them, but I'm sure the trophy's not too far away from the club. Yeah, well, Ben, I think it's fair to say uh, quite a lot of those fans and members that you've talked of will miss you. But um, still got your fans here. Everybody knows who you are, but we wish you the very best of luck. Cheers. As you take the next Thank step you. to Worcester. Perfect. Cheers, guys.